Hello, this is Taylor with the Prosperity Agency and today I am coming at you guys with a video about how I spend every single morning and really the design behind it and why I do what I do. The focus of this video this morning is, um, or not this morning, today is to share with you guys how I spend my mornings and um, again why I do what I do and, and how I've set that up. So the first thing that I do is I wake up, um, I put my phone, which is my alarm clock, on the other side of my bedroom so that I am physically forced to get out of bed in the morning. I started doing this probably about, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago and it is so annoying. I can't not get out of bed. So I urge all of you to do <laughs> to do that. It sounds so weird when I say it out loud, but uh, if you want to get your butt out of bed, you got to get your alarm clock on the other side of where you're at. Otherwise, you're just going to roll over and you're going to have really great intentions because I know we all have really great intentions of getting up early, getting up on time. But honestly, you push snooze. You just do. And I did and I still probably would be, <laughs> would be doing it if I didn't have my alarm clock on the other side of my bedroom. So that's my one of the tips for you guys this morning is to put your freaking alarm clock on the other side of the room. So it goes off and you physically have to jump out of bed so quickly because that piercing sound of whatever it is that your alarm is gets you up. So that's my first tip. Um, waking up, you know, early enough to make sure that I have enough time to do all these things. So usually for me, it's about six o'clock. Uh, some mornings it's five, some mornings it's 630, but really I try to stick around that six o'clock time mark. Um, so once I wake up and I physically force myself out of bed, Hey man, it works. And uh, then I go and I get a big old glass of water. So what I do with that is I just get a cup of, oh, this is a good cup. I have all these great cups here. Um, I stay hydrated. So with that, what I do is I, I fill it up with tap, or not tap, but lukewarm water, okay? So what this does is basically it just rehydrates the body from a whole night of like sweating, and um, you know you just you just don't know really what happens when you go to sleep but you wake up and you're groggy and, and so the water helps you know re-lubricate all the joints and the muscles and really gets you um, you know gets you rehydrated so your body needs that and so I fill that bad boy up and I drink it and I'm very good about doing that so I always force myself to drink a whole thing of water before I even think about drinking coffee for the day so um, so drink the water and then what I do next is I come into my beautiful office where I'm at right now and I start to um, do my next step which is meditation and prayer and so what I do for this is I basically just clear my thoughts and make sure that my body is you know that I'm in tune with my body of what's going on as well as with my mind and my mindset for the day and just being grateful for what I have. So this is a great tool for everybody. You know, it doesn't have to be in the morning, but it's a great thing to do sometime throughout the day or, you know, obviously multiple times throughout the day. So again, what I do is I've, I've done quite a bit of research on just disconnecting your thoughts and um, your thoughts from your body and your physical self. So this is kind of an interesting realm. Um, and once you kind of dive into it a little bit, you kind of get really into it. So I'm into it, which is great. And so that's what I've been doing is spending time um, disconnecting myself and making sure that my body and mind are healing. And I really think that, you know, the same energy and the same spirit, and the same, you know, uh, source energy that, um, that created us can also heal us. And that is all within every single one of us. And so that's what I try to do is I just, you know, summon that power within me and make sure that I'm getting, you know, getting it back my body back to being healed and restored so that's one of the things that I do right away again I do it because my mind is really quiet so you know right when I wake up I don't really have a lot of thoughts <clears throat> excuse me other than to wake up and drink water so quiet thoughts and I just continue those quiet thoughts and prayer and meditation so that's my next step um, what I do next is I do some visualization so what we end up doing is our brain creates what we're thinking about whether you realize it or want to realize it or not it truly is and I've seen it so many times through personal experiences of what this looks like so what I do is I visualize what I want my day to look like and what I want to get accomplished and what I want to you know do to help impact others and really what I like to you know focus in on is that visualization of what Taylor is going to be like in the future so whether that's in five years and ten years however long in the future that is I want to get as much detail in as I possibly can. So I want to think about, you know, waking up in a new beautiful home, what that would feel like to have a, you know, a master suite with a gorgeous bathroom, you know, um, 
just all these little details is really what I want my brain to focus on because that's what's going to help fuel me throughout the day to help me kick myself back into gear, right? So that's really what um, what visualization helps me to do as well as, you know, again, your brain is telling you what you want to do. So one of the quotes that I have on my computer here is, reality is created by the mind. We can change our reality by changing our mind. And Plato said that. And I, I mean, that's so true. And that's, you know, that was true, I don't know, thousands of years ago and uh, hundreds of years ago. <laughs> It's still true today, okay, people? That's all that matters. Um, so that's my next thing that I do is I visualize. Excuse me, my next piece that I do is I do affirmation. So out loud, I do affirmation. So if nobody's gonna tell me that I'm having a great day, that I'm gonna have a great day, I'm gonna tell myself. And so what I do is I have a list that I say all these nice, wonderful, beautiful things about me. And you know what? Once I start saying these, I start to believe them. And that's really what I want to have happen for the day. I want that mojo, I want that feeling back in me so that I can start my day off with the right foot moving forward. So some of these things that I would say to myself is, you know, I am I am in control of my day to day. I am free. I am beautiful. I am, you know, energetic. I am charismatic. And so all of these things that I'm telling myself, I say I, I actually say them out loud, which again, like all aboard the crazy train. <laughs> but I really like it because again, like I said, if nobody else is rooting for you in this world, you need to root for yourself. And if you do have people rooting for you, that's obviously even better because the more cheering, the better that everybody does, right? So that's another piece that I do is the affirmations. Um, another piece that I really, really like, and I've been tweaking this uh, for quite a while about how to how to do it and how to get it in, uh, but move, okay? So that's my next piece is move. So again, similar to the water, you wanna kind of re you know reactivate your, your body and your brain. And so with moving, um, you know, you also do that, obviously. So you wanna stretch out those, you know, those achy bones and muscles and joints and things like that. And um, I've tried a couple different things um, with this. And I think what my favorite thing to do is actually just to go to the gym right away in the morning. And I haven't been super consistent on that. So I need to work on work on getting that into place if that's what I want to do. And what that allows me to do again is it gets my workout in for the day. So I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the, you know, for the rest of the day. And, um, again, it just jump starts your body and brain into, you know, into high performance. And so that's what I really like about, you know, moving in and just getting yourself centered. And another thought with that one is, you know, moving and stretching obviously coincide with, you know, doing some sort of yoga or flow or something like that. And you can, you can go on YouTube and find a gajillion videos on how to do, you know, how to do yoga or how to do home stretches or, you know, working out at home. If you don't have, you know, a gym membership, you can always do, do things on your own at your, at your home, which is amazing. So YouTube is great. You can find anything there. So that would be my next piece. And then what I do next is I do what my, what I call is learn pretty self-explanatory. So I spend about 10 to 15 minutes either on reading a chapter in a physical book that I have, um, watching a new YouTube video on something that I haven't, you know, not necessarily read up on or, watched up on I guess I should say so that would be another piece to my puzzle is learning and um, what I do throughout the day is I actually listen to audible all day every day when I'm in my vehicle so I just put on you know obviously the book the latest book that I'm reading or listening to I don't really know how to explain that but anyways yeah so reading on audible obviously throughout the day but what I want to do is in the morning I want to have a new bit of information in front of me so that it can continue to feel me throughout the day and whoever said you couldn't read more than you know a couple books at a time you know you're capable so that would be the next thing that I do and then the last thing that I do which is my absolute favorite and I've actually been doing this last one for the last two years maybe two to three years and so what I do and actually this is inspired by Grant Cardone which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of him but what he does every morning and this is really what kickstarted me into it is he writes um, writes a whole sheet of paper every morning of what he wants his life to look like and what he's grateful for and visualizing and things like that so it's kind of a combination of all the things that I just talked about you know on a step-by-step -step basis but I yeah again so what I do is I just take this bad boy and I fill it up all the way top to bottom of you know um, what I want to do, what I want to have, what I want to be, and who I want to help, and how I can best do that. So that's really been powerful because, it, again, you're just getting yourself recentered back into why you're doing what you're doing, why you're working so hard, what um, you know, really what motivates you. So I like to call that life right, and I know that there's a million other things you can call it, and 
throughout my whole process. So again, water, meditate, pray, visualization, affirmations, move, learn, and life right. So what I do is I call these, um, these are actually called my morning musts. So again, again, what I do with these is water, meditate, pray, visualization, affirmations, move, learn, and life right. And um, what I like to call all of these is my morning musts. So, you know, I must do them in the morning. And this is, you know, one of the things that Tony Robbins talks about is he'll, he says that you'll always live up to your expectations, not your wants, which I mean is so true. So, you know, if you're going to make yourself a promise, you want to make sure that you're sticking to that. So this has been a very long video. Thank you for watching the whole thing. Um, I'm going to do extra videos, obviously, throughout time of, you know, different things pertaining to each of these little sections, you know, as, as I see fit and as I get, you know, inspired to do that. So I really appreciate the view and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again soon. And uh, thanks again for all the subscribes and likes and views. And um, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Thanks.